hi everyone welcome to brisk learn in previous session we have learned what is class in this session we are going to learn what is object object is the actual instance of a class objects are created at runtime let us see how to create an object as we have following the customer class in the previous session for that particular class we are going to create an object here the customer first customer indicates the class name and the second customer indicates the reference object new is the operator in java and customer followed by parenthesis is a constructor you can identify a constructor by the constructor name and the class name are always same okay and the new followed by the any of the constructor is called as an object and this object is assigned to the reference object now objects are used for message passing and the message passing or two ways one is using methods setter methods let's see the example here we have created an object new customer and using that particular object customer dot here we are trying to invoke the particular method and for this method we are trying to pass 100100 message so this message is going to set as part of the customer class now let us see another example how to pass a message using constructor in the previous example the new followed by the customer doesn't have any parameters it is called as default constructor and here it is having string as a parameter so new followed by constructor as part of the constructor we are trying to pass a message called hi okay so you can pass message in two ways one is using methods and the other way around is using constructor now let us see the example of that particular customer class customer class has customer id username and password and the other things are setter and getter and here you can see customer and just opening curly brace and closing curly brace this is the default constructor and you can see another customer has a string parameter so this is also a customer sorry this is also a constructor but it has a parameter called string so in such a way you can create or you can describe your own constructors the here the catchy thing is the customer and the customer constructor name are always the same now let us see how to create an object for this particular customer class here we are trying to create one more class customer details and in this it has a main method to execute and here as part of this class we have created three objects object 1 object 2 and object 3 and we are trying to set messages using setter methods and for the first object we are trying to pass a constructor with parameter okay so a class can have n objects in the previous example we have created three objects for the customer so customer id 100100 user name can be cha and password name is abc like that a bank can have n number of customers so n number of objects you can create for a particular class so a class is a prototype as we discussed and object is an actual instance of a class okay i hope you got what what is a class and what is an object 
and let us have a look on the best practices to be used try to avoid message passing using constructor so you message passing using constructor is not the actual right way you must you you, you sorry you must pass message using methods as per as i have shown you how to pass using setter methods you need to pass in such a way once the objects are used try to assign them none so once you have you used the objects always try to assign them to null for the garbage collector so that we can save the memory and always try to use mutable object to save the memory we are we are going to cover this mutable object as part of string so you just make a note that while objects are created it must be a mutable object okay that's it for this session thank you all please leave your queries or suggestions in the comment section if you are interested you may post your article in briskland.com bye